Good morning. Welcome back to the Digital Ledger, everybody. I want to cover a little bit of quick news, and then I want to get into the value is in the protocol as a reminder to everybody about the path I believe we are really on here. So first of all, shout out to Weed Say Win who put out a message to let everybody know that you will, in a couple days, need to hook up your XRP tip bot to uphold because of the changes of regulations over in Netherlands, they're having to make this adjustment. But I think it's a very positive adjustment because now you can have it hooked directly to an exchange. And I just think that's fantastic. So shout out to We'd Say When and what else they're all doing there at the XRP Labs. Let's keep this moving. So here we go. Ripple partner MoneyGram announces major tie-up with Federal Bank Limited, one of the biggest commercial banks in India. From now on, the bank's customers can have remittances sent directly to their accounts, which eliminates their need to leave their homes. Digitalizing India's remittance market, this ties up with uh, this tie-up will help accelerate digitalization in India, the highest recipient of remittances in the world, which reached $82 billion last year. India has the highest number of people who live abroad at about 17.5 million, leaving behind China and Mexico. Federal Bank serves millions of customers with 1,251 branches that are located all around India. MoneyGram's grant line says that they are proud to form a tie-up with the Aluva headquarter bank that has proven to pioneer in digitization. Federal Bank is known throughout India as a pioneering in digitizing financial services, and we're proud to partner with them to enable millions of people to option to receive money directly in their bank account. This just keeps getting better. It is worth noting that both MoneyGram and Federal Bank are members of rapidly growing RippleNet network that boasts more than 300 members. India's Federal Bank entered into a strategic partnership with blockchain company Ripple of March 19 to speed up cross-border payments and get access to new remittance corridors. Last year, Ripple also brought, bought a 10% stake in MoneyGram, as we most of us know, and paid the legacy money transfer player to use its software. Now, market infrastructure, making the kind of partnerships and acquisitions that we've seen with Ripple into MoneyGram, the partnerships and acquisitions is just as important as the software needed to be developed to create the market infrastructure or the plumbing for the new financial payment system. That's what I wanted to point out here before going on to the next thing. Let's keep this moving. David Rudder, shout out to Outlier Ventures here on this one. Uh, let's listen to this 43 second clip of what he talks about here. If we could build solutions that would uh, pass these stringent requirements for the largest banks in the world, they would um, work well in other industries and we're already seeing that. So, so we went that path. As far as building a consortium with, I forget, 42 banks, who ultimately are Series A, it's been reported as 107, I think it was 120 million, you know, one of the largest ever, um, maybe 40 some banks involved and some other investors. I wouldn't recommend that to anyone. You know, I'd rather, <laughs> probably have you rip my fingernails off than have me go through that 18 month process again if but they did it but they did it and now you're talking 40 plus banks in that consortium with r3 r3 former partner with ripple settled out of court i believe it was or settled through the court case uh, uh a solution for them to both continue to work and work together mind you because r3 uses quarter and quarter settler as an option of payment for the people and clients that build on the quarter platform quarter settler currently does provide the asset digital asset xrp for settlement and they do plan on in the future expanding that wide to a wide range or array of digital assets for settlement. But currently right now, XRP is that settlement for assets. Don't forget that also amongst this consortium of banks, this infrastructure that's been built through partnerships that they also intend to use, I think it's 78% of all Italy's banks 
will be using R3 in Corda for their inter or intrabank settlement reconciliation. So that's exciting too as we move forward. Eventually, this will all, I believe, lead us to the use of XRP. Now, again, I don't think anybody lays this down any better when it comes to the values in the protocol. So let's hear a reminder from this great clip from this man sitting here. This is a visionary who's been in the industry, finance, and tech space for quite some time. Let's listen to what he thinks about the value of the protocol versus the token really quickly here. Probably were. Um, mm -hmm. you, you would have asked me, the internet. We've just seen this huge meltdown in the last 12 to 15 months. Are you still a believer? <laughs> right? Yep. Um, uh, and so the answer is yes. Uh, now, the, the, the digital currency solution uh, is, the, is the most important technological advance I've seen since the internet. Uh, it has the capacity to do lots more, but it has, certainly has the capacity to enable us to move anything of value around the world at the speed of light at no cost. The, it has three components. It has a token of value, which is called the Bitcoin. It has an accounting mechanism, which is called the blockchain. But the most important piece, which is one that people aren't focusing on, is the protocol. The underlying protocol by which we agree to do these two conduct these transactions. So you use a series of protocols every day and you don't even think about them. You don't think about the internet protocol, you don't think about the simple mail technology protocol, you don't think about the file transfer protocol, you don't think about the high text translation protocol. I go through them, right? You just, you, you just make use of the technology and the protocols make it work. The people who really understand what's going on with digital currencies understand that putting these protocols in place, the blockchain protocol, the Ethereum protocol, the uh, XR, the Ripple protocol, and then enabling those protocols to <laughs> cause transactions to occur. Uh, and then those, tra and those transactions can be defined very broadly as not just moving same things of value, but anything that's got an information content uh, is extraordinarily transformative. The focus on the value of the token is distracting and uninformative. <laughs> I never get sick of seeing it. And he hammers it home. And he does say Ripple, and he pulls back on XRP. Now, let me tell you something. We're getting ready to go to the next thing that I want to show you, which came from Stuart XRP, and originally from Bob Way. This is going to hammer home the notion about the value being in the protocol, not the token. You get the value in the protocol and the price of the token will eventually catch up to reflect the value that exists in the protocol. This was shared by Stuart XRP. This is a document or a whiteboard from Bob Way. Obviously back in the war room in the early days about how to make this entire system work. What I want you to focus on is not the entire picture, but I want you to focus on where it starts, right? Ripple Pay, Bitcoin cryptocurrency, crypto exchanges. And if you notice, everything starts right here. And funny enough, it all funnels right into here or even down here, but then back up through here. And then if you look at banks, they even dump down into the Ripple Gateway. I have said this for an enormous, since the channel's been around, everything runs on the ledger. Everything runs on Ripple, ILP, and the XRP ledger. Period. Even Bitcoin. Don't believe me when I say it, but you might want to start believing Bob Way and Ripple when they draw it on a whiteboard. The value is in the protocol. As Glenn Hutchins says, the price of the token is a distraction and, in fact, uninformative. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. If you like the content, please hit the like and subscribe. Let's grow this channel and really get a lot of people in on this conversation. We will catch you guys on the next one. Take care.